Alright, we got did KZ just have one of the greatest greatest Olympic game ever. Four Paris Olympic Games officially kicked off Friday, July 26th with opening ceremonies. LeBron James was the first ever male basketball athlete for Team USA to carry the flag. And although yesterday the first basketball games were played for the men's side, today was Team USA's first Olympic game in group play, facing off versus Nikola Jokic, Bogdan Bogdanovic, and Serbia. Serbia is currently ranked <laughs> in the world and a bunch of nobodies basically that's what he's saying without Jokic and although Team USA had just beaten them handily in a exhibition match leading up to the Olympics they did not have bogey Team USA did not have Kevin Durant either both players are healthy and playing in this game matter of fact Kevin Durant did not play at all in the pre-olympic yep. for Team USA a massive addition he will start coming off the bench and for Team USA Steve Kerr is rolling with his most consistent starting lineup Steph Curry LeBron James Devin Booker Drew Holiday and Joel Embiid before we get right into the recap of this game I want to say if you're wondering why there's less game footage in some of these compared to the exhibition recaps I did that's because NBC <laughs> yo did that team is insane bro Fox. so if you see more alternate angles or just graphics you know why Team USA starts off pretty lackadaisical getting down 10 to 2 in including this steal right away by Alexa Abramovich. And then again, after another Abramovich layup, Joel Embiid throws the ball away. Serbia gets another well, Embiid, bro. Out. Damn. Got this 10 to early Steve Kerr immediately calls timeout puts in Anthony Davis benches Joel Embiid honestly Anthony Davis probably should be starting over Joel just given how those five exhibition games went AD has been phenomenal for Team USA and they play in such a better flow with him Team USA then goes on a 9-0 run of their own to get up 14 to 12 on the back of a couple of Devin Booker threes and then a LeBron and one and Steve Kerr did something interesting his first subs besides benching Joel Embiid after that bad turnover we're to just bring in anthony edwards and Derek white so he's doing a lot more of traditional subbing than just the five are you gonna five play Derek white and not jason tatum bro what the fuck that's crazy is not just gonna go away easily matter of fact nikola jovic hits this corner three and then jokic has a great seal allowing bogey to get a layup after this jokic free throw serbia is up 20 to 14 and this is when Steve Kerr opts to finally go to Kevin Durant. He's been hurt with a calf injury during the exhibition pre-Olympic tune-ups. And something I personally did not know is that he is the all-time leading scorer for Team USA's national team, passing. Carmelo yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's always been crazy in the game, bro, on the Olympics. Matter of fact, first touch, Kevin Durant hits a three. Anthony Edwards hits a pull-up three of his own, contributing alongside his childhood hero. And then Katie again gets left wide open hits another three this alley-oop from lebron to ant ends the quarter team usa is up 25 to 20. The start Bro, of the quarter, Kevin there's Durant no video of the full ally but literally midi and is now three for three to start just a couple of possessions later kevin durant hits another Pull up three. <laughs> yeah, that dude is insane, bro. He's just having fun at this point, bro. And remember, it is very tough to play with people that you do not play with. Kevin Durant, this is his first action in a game in this Olympic cycle. He didn't even play in the scrimmages with Team USA's select team. And you Too can easy. Because after that pull up three, he is getting absolutely after it on defense here. LeBron extends the lead to 9 32 23. And then again, Kevin Durant, another three pointer. He's got 14 points. Five for five from the field and team usa is up 10 joel Embiid will check back in and i know a lot of people want to see him fail i honestly really don't i'm cheering for him but he does look just a little lost out there i'm hoping he can bounce back and just get into a flow after that rough start and he does so with this great ball movement lebron to steph to joel 38 to 27 after six straight Jokic points serbia starts full court pressing lebron hits a three steph curry hits a three and that's the deadliness of team usa the the shooting is just out of this world and if you watch this game serbia runs a lot of really and just a didn't even play imagine a ton of good looks for his teammates whether it's via 
screen, ceiling, or passing. Problem is, his team just does not have the shooting that Team USA has. Speaking of shooting, Serbia does hit this corner three, and they get a foul on Seth Curry on it. That's a four-point play. And then after this Jokic steal and fast break, Serbia is down just two points, 46-44. KD's back in the game. He hits a fadeaway jumper. He's still perfect from the field, 16 points. Up 53-49, to 49, Kevin Durant recognizes they have a two-for-one opportunity, and he pulls up from three again. He now has 19, still perfect. And then for good measure, right before half, with just a few seconds left on the clock, Team USA runs a side out-of-bounds play, gets it to Kevin Durant for a fadeaway jumper. He hits it. Team USA is up 63 to 51. Kevin Durant has 21 points at half on a perfect eight for eight from the field, five for five from three. This is absolutely ridiculous from KD. Off the My boy could have won for 40, bro. I don't know if there's a better individual performance in a half in Olympic basketball history 21 points perfect from the field and he had a plus 17 plus minus in that first half remember he checked in when team USA was down 20 to 14 and they're up 12 at the break one other thing that people didn't really mention in that first half is that LeBron was fantastic as well he was five for five from the field did not miss a shot early in the second half I feel like this was a massive flop from Serbia's Abramovich Joel Embiid somehow gets an unsportsmanlike call on this, which is the FIBA's equivalent of a flagrant. And as you can see here, Avramovich did not get hit in the face. I don't know why he's acting like he did. Joel gets an and one against Jokic, but it's actually Avramovich that hacks him on the end one. And Joel has something to say about it. He's not too happy with that flop earlier. This play right here really signifies what LeBron James has done for this Team USA team at 39 years old. Gets the strip on Nikola Jovic, finishes the fast break, by himself with this lefty layup and he is absolutely hype let's freaking go lebron and has this awesome fake fadeaway step through we saw in the nba playoffs to end the third quarter team usa has opened this one up 84 to 65 and then early in this fourth quarter kd misses his first shot of the game he did have two free throws in that third quarter we did not mention so he's at 23 points eight for nine from the field and this fourth quarter team usa doesn't really Really let it get that close Serbia made a little bit of a run getting it to 12 but the United States did a good job of closing it out mm. Steph getting this offensive board at the very end of the game hitting this three while looking away before it went in team USA wins 110 <laughs> you carry bro look at carry man Point differential does matter and just so you know we're gonna take a look at the box scores first but afterwards we will look and recap very quickly how the rest of the Olympics are looking when it comes to basketball from Saturday and today to really just get us a good look at where these groups are at. Let's start with Serbia's box scores. I mean, Jokic actually played very well. He had a plus minus of zero in 31 minutes, which is insane if you think about it, because that means in the nine minutes he sat on the bench, Serbia got outscored by 26 points. Jokic would finish with 20 points Damn. himself on eight for 15 from the field eight assists five rebounds and four blocks bogey did not have a very good game he had 14 points but he shot just six for 14 from the field and serbia needs bogey to play better than that he's one for 20 points to beat 18 like team usa on the american side wait, 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 wait. obviously kevin durant was abs team like team usa Where's Bogdanovich? Once for 14 okay. points. On the American side, obviously. Edward 11. Was absolutely Drew Holiday once for 15 points. Holy shit. David Booker 12, 37. Anthony Edward 11. Kevin Durant 23. LeBron James 21. That's a Jason Tatum, they even play. <laughs> that's, ins that's insane, bro. Finish a plus minus of 20 in just 16 minutes of play. And as incredible of a game, and more particularly a first half, it was for KD. LeBron James was insane as well. He had 21 points himself, nine assists, seven rebounds, and a team high plus minus of 21. Doing it all on high efficiency, nine for 13 from the field. Seth would finish with 11 points himself, Anthony Edwards 11 as well. Drew Holiday had 15. 
15, Devin Booker 12. One thing that was interesting about Steve Kerr in this game is he elected to not play Jason Tatum at all, which has been an anomaly in the exhibitions leading up to this Olympics. At the same time, Kevin Durant was not playing in those exhibition games, but I don't see how Jason Tatum got completely X'd out from the rotation. I would assume what Steve Kerr is thinking is that guys like Derek White and Drew Holiday, he can tell them to just go guard Serbia's best guards like Bogey, shut them down completely, and then on the offensive end, just let the ball come to you, move without the ball, and stay in the flow of the offense. Whereas Jason Tatum is probably going to want the ball more than that, but at the same time, why not just ask Jason Tatum to have a different role? It's the national team, it's the Olympics, everyone knows they're not the number one option. So anyways, there's a lot of memes going on about that on Twitter. He's getting kind of cooked, but I guess it is what it is. It's kind of funny, but at the same time, I feel bad for him. He didn't yeah. play zero minutes. And it's weird. Burton, kind of feel bad for him as well, but that's just the nature of playing on a team with Stephen Curry, LeBron James, and Kevin Durant. Joel Embiid was a team worst, minus eight plus minus, and he's just not doing himself any favors. I'm hoping that he can figure it out at some point because 80 was, again, even with 80 being in foul trouble, not having that great of a game, was much better than Joel once again. That's how six games in a row he's been better than Joel Embiid. And I do have to say I was incorrect about LeBron having the best plus minus on the team. It actually was Anthony Davis with a plus minus of 28 in just 19 minutes i was shocked to see that because he was in foul trouble a little bit and he had just seven points but when ad's out there team usa wins and that's just the nature of it even bam bam has been much better than joel Embiid in this olympic cycle so far so team usa will play again in group play on wednesday july 31st versus south sudan if you've been watching my videos or been following along during the exhibition tune-ups they almost got beat by south sudan it took a lebron james layup to win with just a few seconds to go and honestly kind of well KD didn't play though second shot from South Sudan so we shall see we'll see how Team USA responds and as for the rest of the games that have been played so far in the Olympics on Saturday we had Australia taking on Spain Australia wins 92 to 80 Josh Giddy had 17 8 and 8 in that one. Giddy playing well Paddy Mills with a team high plus 30 plus minus i'm starting to think australia has a chance to medal in these olympics and then we also had greece taking on canada canada wins 86 to 79 sga had 21 7 and 5 rj barrett had 23 points dylan brooks 14 jamal murray didn't have that great of a game didn't play that much either just eight points on two for six from the field and he didn't canada play that much a big man problem they have dwight powell yeah. starting for them 21 minutes and then uh kelly olenic and trey lyles as their only other really big men on the roster mm. Giannis literally did all he could for greece he played 33 minutes 34 points on 11 for 17 from the field group b also played on saturday germany versus japan germany wins 97 to the one you're so nice bro. Led the team with 22 points and uh. schroeder had 13 and 12 and then daniel tice had 18 points on a perfect seven for seven from the field team France would beat Brazil 78-66 thanks to a 9-point third quarter for Brazil. Wemby on 19. Wemby was awesome in this game. He had 19 Go points, 7 points. 9 rebounds, 4 steals, and 3 blocks. And then Nicholas Batum had 19 points as well then finally group c south sudan would beat puerto rico earlier today 92 79 puerto rico was actually up six points at half and it's unfortunate for puerto rico because jose alvarado sprained his ankle in the first Ooh. half after dropping 19 points on six wow field he returned the second half but you could tell it was affecting him he finishes with 26 points carly jones balled again for south sudan 19 points seven rebounds six assists so here's the official standing so far for the five on five men's basketball olympics the top two teams in each group will advance to the quarterfinals and then the two best third place teams based off point differential will be advancing as well those will begin in a week on august 5th and so we'll have a fun week here of group play hope you guys enjoyed this video mm. if say plays like this nobody can beat them and although i'd be super scared of team canada they just don't have a big man i feel like 80 and bam if there's someone you should be scared of is not canada it's probably germany speed would absolutely eat versus team canada we'll have to see like i said from let me see u.s south sudan puerto rico serbia 
Australia, Canada. Canada getting out of year. Yeah, Canada definitely getting out of year. Germany, France getting out of year as well. This is easy for those two. Oh my gosh. But yeah, easy for US as well. In the beginning, I'm holding Team USA to the highest standard possible given the talent on this roster. And although I was very disappointed in the South Sudan game, maybe to a lesser extent the Australia game, if they continue to play like this throughout these entire Olympics, they're going to put themselves in a conversation, especially with how mm. much the game of basketball has grown over the past couple decades. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. W video. I'm excited to make some other videos centered around when be or even Giannis with Greece depending on how these games go over the next couple days and then of course be on the lookout for a video after the Team USA South Sudan game on Wednesday Japan Greece Spain Puerto Rico it's funny you know what's crazy is that all the teams that are below right now they're the one that are gonna lose bro obviously because they lost one game out of them but yeah, they're all gonna they all out. So he's done. He's gonna be those two and those three groups. I'm feeling pretty good. I felt like Team USA's ball movement was much better today. Derek White and Drew Holiday are just invaluable on the defensive end and even on the offensive end because the ball never sticks with them on the court. They never let themselves be the reason offense will get out of the flow. They. Mm.